Greetings from New York. Today I'm going to talk about the immense possibilities of digital health through the challenging condition of Parkinson's disease. The patient's genome can be read to make sure they're on the right medication. Wearable devices used to measure their symptoms in real time. Medication delivered based on those symptoms such as tremors through smart patches on the arm. Wearable sensors detecting if the patient's had a fall at home and calling for help. Smart shoes improving a patient's gait and preventing them having that fall in the first place. Smart forks and spoons used to minimize tremors and help the patient eat. Robots supporting the patient with everyday tasks at home. Voice recognition, think Siri or Alexa, used to help understand if the patient's condition is worsening by the analysis of their voice. And telemedicine, why should the patient have to go and visit the doctor when the doctor can come to the patient's home? And in the future, gene editing used to help either cure the condition or prevent it in the first place. And all this technology will produce a huge amount of data to be analysed by artificial intelligence, integrated directly with the patient's electronic health record, data aggregated from thousands of patients, and the insights garnered will help alleviate the condition for all. And lastly, doctors and healthcare providers won't be paid on the number of visits or medications that they prescribe, but actually based on the patient's outcome. So, this technology provides huge opportunities in Parkinson's and a whole array of conditions. But importantly, we shouldn't focus on the technology, but on what matters, the patient.